Hello there everybody, this is Mr Donning from Musica Kirklees and we have another French horn lesson today and this is lesson number four. In today's lesson we are going to cover five notes, the notes C, D, E, F and G. So plenty to get our vowels working and our chops moving too. Now the piece we're going to use today is Beethoven's Ode to Joy. Now this is actually the finale of his ninth symphony. It's a wonderful piece of music. Highly recommend you listen to it. And I'll put a link up where you can hear it and also to some websites which um, give you further work you can do on, on what Beethoven did do. Of course, Beethoven lost his hearing throughout his life. So by the time he wrote this, he never actually heard it. Really quite impressive and an incredibly uh, important composer in the history of music. So I'll just have a quick go at playing the music. You'll see the music above and you'll hopefully recognise this one. Be careful to make sure you take a deep enough breath in that one. I didn't that time, so I found myself running out of breath, so I had to snatch one just near the end. But ideally, if you can breathe every four bars and these nice deep breath, that will really help. So, what I want you to do is go a little bit slower than that, have a go through these notes. If we can't manage the whole two lines at once, break them down and maybe do it in bar or two bars at a time. Go slower. Uh, and if you're unsure of any of the fingerings, remember for most of us we use open, first, open, first, open. Some of you for the note E may use one and two, and this is assuming you're on the horn in F, which most of our students will be. Okay, so just press pause and see how you get on. Okay, I hope that went well. So just remember, if it is a bit uh, tricky, not a problem, just slow it down, knock it into small sections, and maybe two, do two bars at a time, and wait till you can get those right, and then move on to the next. You've probably noticed that line one and line two are very, very similar. It's just a couple of notes different at the end, isn't there? Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll try and do it together. We'll both play the tune, I'll count us in, and we'll have a go from the beginning to the end. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> And the final part of this one today is we're going to play it as a duet. So a duet is for two people. I would like you to carry on playing the melody and I'm going to play what we call a bass line. And because uh, the music harmony at this point wasn't too complicated and the chord sequences were fairly predictable, it does mean that we can make up another, another part to give it some harmony. So you have a go at playing the tune and I'm going to see if I can make a separate part up. And I'm just going to use C's and G's. Let's have a go. So you play the tune, I'll play the bass line. Ready? One, two, three, plop. <laughs> Did you manage that? It's quite tricky, isn't it, when someone else is playing a different line? But this is something we do as musicians. We, uh, when we're in bands and orchestras, we get used to playing independent lines from each other. So that's a really good one. So if it didn't quite work, don't worry, but rewind the video back and try again. So keep practicing. Do as much playing as you possibly can at the moment. A daily routine would be fantastic for you. And we'll see you another day for some more music lessons.